What's going on, everyone? Welcome to Movie Emporium's TV review of Snowpiercer Season 4, Episode 5, which is called The Engineer, directed by Joe Mendez. Okay, so this wasn't a bad episode. It was about on par with, you know, some of the decent episodes of Snowpiercer. Uh, it's an episode, as you can tell from the thumbnail and just from all the, you know, lead up to it. This is the return of Wilford, played by Sean Bean. And it definitely helps the episode that he's in it. The his What his motives are aren't entirely clear, but... It's fun having Sean Bean in something. It really is. It always has been. Sean Bean's always been a good villain slash character actor. He's an individual that just brings gravitas to a, a property. He does. I'm hoping he does die in some spectacular fashion in this season. We'll find. We'll see if it goes on. I don't entirely know, but I'm assuming that they're going to kill him. Maybe they'll throw him out into the ice or whatever. But this episode is basically. Um, it's an episode to get us through the last five episodes of the series as well as the season. We find Big Alice, of course, officially attaching to Snowpiercer to bring him to that laboratory that, of course, Nima and, of course, Melanie and all the crew and Al Cordy and, you know, Milius and stuff like that. And the only reason they connect is because, of course, Leighton hears his daughter on the phone, which is very emotional. I get it. It's a, it's a, it's a way to have Leighton have an emotional moment because he's usually kind of useless as a character in this show, which he's the, one of the main characters, so that's a little difficult. But it is nice to see, like, he is willing to uh, sacrifice the engine, the big Alice, for his daughter, which proves that he is willing to go to the ends of the earth to save his daughter and stuff like that, which makes a lot of sense. In order to do that, they have to connect with Big Alice, and uh, this is kind of where we get our official meetup of all the individuals that have been apart from one another, Ruth and Bess and Ben and, you know, Alex and all these characters that have known each other for so so much time now, you know, several years at this point. But once again, it's just not a very interesting episode, to be fairly honest. It's not a bad episode. There's some fun moments with you know uh, of course Wilford going back to his study to put on his suit and tie and his coat which is notoriously known for wearing you know he kind of convinces Alex to stay behind to do this research you know there's an ulterior motive or it seems like there's an ulterior motive to why he's there and what he's doing to Alex why is Melanie not shown up you know if they're working together which they say in this episode that Wilford and Melanie are working together where is she um <laughs> I mean we're getting to the last four episodes you know we're already at episode five so I'm sorry the last five episodes of this series and it's still not entirely clear what exactly they're doing. He says, you know, Nima says he's shooting off rockets into the air to create an open space for warmer weather to get through. But what does that entail? Like, you know, they claim they're using Snowpiercer for that, but we've never seen Snowpiercer used for that. It's used mostly as a like workplace, a place where people are slaves and they're doing crap it just a lot of it doesn't make any sense to be fairly honest a lot of it doesn't feel cohesive it feels like they're just kind of throwing things at the wall to see what sticks and i said that before but it's just kind of how i feel um the idea that ruth bass and ben escape are probably the smartest of the people or at least they try to be the smartest of the people because they realize that new eden needs this engine to survive and they're trying to get off the end you know off the train or off this like complex this laboratory to, for to go back to new eden but <laughs> it feels like it's so easily done it feels like all oh, ben knows his mountain very well so he knows how to remove the wires from the the fridge to open up the magnet which is i guess you would know that but he i mean are they on snow piercer like what exactly is happening like you're not entirely sure of like where they are and i guess they do say something about you know, this place is time doesn't really effectively work because of where you're located. It seems like everything's kind of out of place. <sighs> okay, um, sure. But Layton basically tells him, you guys need to go. I need to get my daughter. And he's taken off to be held, you know, held until everything is completed. And that's pretty much the entire episode. There's not a lot to talk about, to be fairly honest. Once again, where's Melanie? What's Wilford's ultimate plan? Because he talks to Nima about, you know, things that are happening and they're trying to get their work done. And it feels like, once again, that, you know, Wilford was found or he was, you know, sent a beacon out and the Admiral Milius's group found him. And 
it's not really a lot to to go off of you know once again there is a couple of cool fight sequences where between ben and some of the guards and you know layton brings up the whole idea of like what are these buttons on the elevator missing what's going on down there and no you know of course the guard will not let him know and <laughs> just like whatever I, I like the fact that he's forced to remove all his clothes and he's forced to like go through like a, a detection system and I think it shoots cold water at him. I'm not entirely sure. It's really weird. but And, of course, Headwood returns. Uh, she, of course, is the one that took Leona. And Josie is down there because she was taken down there for whatever reasons to check her out. And uh, something happens there, which is not fully explained. But she wants Leona, and Leona's fine. Then they knock her out with some kind of medicine of some sort. She wakes up, and her blood's being replace with Wilford or Wilford's blood it's like okay what what is going on I think this was something happened in an earlier season with her blood and his blood I can't entirely remember because it's been so long but she's had she's like we see her blood and then we see Wilford's blood so maybe Wilford experimenting on to survive the cold like she can <sighs> Uh, th this is what makes this this episode so weird and problematic is just like you're, you're giving us this information about oh Wilford's back but why is he back like and then at the end of the episode he's holding Leona so like is he bad is he good is he just indifferent like you know he seems to not have a very good relationship with Milius it's I don't know. I, I'm trying to sit here and think about like what they're trying to aim for and what they're going for. And none of it makes any sense to be fairly honest. It's just, it's really, it's really problematic because you're sitting here hoping that you get some kind of explanation five episodes in on what exactly they're doing to the skies. Like that's such interesting stuff. And that's why I liked the first episode because it gave us such interesting uh, stuff about it. And then you deal with like, they're using Snowpiercer for some reason. They're they need Big Alice for some reason. You know, he, uh, Wilford when he talks to Alex about how you know inventive it was that she used the engine to help New Eden, and you know, then he's like, we're gonna have to dismantle it, and like it just are they are they using it for this rocket system? Is it like that important? I, I don't know. I really don't. I just. I don't know. I really don't. I just, I, I, I'm so confused right now about what's going on this season. I feel like there's no justification for anything, to be fairly honest. You know, when Bess and Ben and, Ro and uh, Ruth escape, like I said, they, they beat up a couple of soldiers. They're, they basically found themselves down where Wilford is. <laughs> of course, Ben beats or smack. I think it's Ben. Yeah, Ben hits Wilford, and then he says that Wilford sets off the alarm. And of course, that brings up the timeline of Snowpiercer leaving. I think there's more to it than what they're giving off. I think there's something that they're not telling anybody about what exactly this program is. It leads to them getting a whole bunch of people onto Snowpiercer and Big Alice to escape. That's what they're trying to do. That's what Ruth and Ben and Bess and Ben's purpose in this episode is to escape. And of course, Ruth sees um, uh, Layton on the elevator. They try to get, you know, they try to get uh, Alex off, but she's like, I'm going to stay. I'm going to deal with this, you know, blah, 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 blah. Where's Melanie? All that good stuff. And then we get the moment that feels not really earned to be fairly honest of course big alice can't disconnect from snowpiercer snowpiercer is dragging it ben bennett ben bennett whatever you want to call him he decides he's going to disconnect decopulate the the you know the thing to allow big alice to leave but he doesn't tell Beth he doesn't tell best that he has to go outside to do that so when Ruth is really confused about what she's talking about. She realizes that Ben's going to go out there. And with the way the weather is at this moment, she realizes that Ben's going out to sacrifice himself. And you can kind of see it coming because Ben has a lot of stuff to do. A lot of stuff in this episode with him and, you know, how he acts and what he acts and what he does and how he, his character is kind of more centrally focused. This is the way every single episode of every television series seems to be where the character that is going to die, like Charlie and Lost, seem to get the most moments in that particular episode before they are officially killed off. 
Now, when Bennett goes out there to de- uh, decopulate the the thing to remove a big Alice from the Snowpiercer, I thought maybe he was going to survive and just have like what happened to Josie. But no, he goes out there, removes the coppling, and uh, basically freezes to death. You see his eye glaze over. It's pretty disgusting, actually. But it, it's a nice touching moment, like him saving everybody. But it, once again... With Melanie not being there, she doesn't know what's happening and where the hell is Melanie for one, like I keep saying, but Ben is, was her love interest and now she's, now he's dead. So what is that going to do for Melanie when she finds out, which I'm sure she will, but Ben, Bennett basically sacrificed himself to help the other crew. It's just really interesting to see that we, this is like the second character of this series, main character of the series that has died. But it's, I mean, it's more, it's impactful. Like I said, is it as impactful as you know zara's character probably not but it's he was still from the beginning of the series he's been in the series since the beginning so we'll see we'll see how that works out you know goodbye bennett Knox. you know, <laughs> you'll be missed i guess for this series seems kind of um seems kind of unjust but whatever and so once again layton's taken down to uh see uh milius milius says you know even though you didn't deliver on your promise well, I'm still going to deliver on my promise. And he shows Layton with, uh, shows Layton that who has Leona with Wilford. And that's kind of where the episode ends. And, uh, yeah, once again, it's a very aimless episode. Really feel like this series is not going to have much going for it in the final five episodes of the series. But once again, it is a much more interesting episode. It does bring back Wilford, which we all knew was coming because the poster said so. And, um, I think it's a, it's an episode that, at least attempts to be much more cohesive it just doesn't do it very well so overall for my score let's give it like seven and a half out of ten wilford brings it up to us at least a seven and a half it just once again after some of the highs of last season it just feels like a kind of a step down so anyways with that said that'll be my take on snowpiercer season four episode five which is called the engineer goodbye bennett um yeah there you go so anyways thank you so much for watching as always uh in the comments below let me know what you think of the episode what do you think of bennett's death what do you think of just the entire where it's headed are you happy wilford's back do you think he's gonna die all that good stuff but otherwise if you like what you see on this channel awesome hit the subscribe button the join movie emporium hit that notification bell top the phone is coming next if you like this video awesome hit that like button and as always we'll see you guys on the next video peace out guys